Hey, what up, my cruisers? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys why the 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser has increased in value so much since I've purchased it. All right, come find out why inflation is real, not only in the real world, but also in the 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser world. It may be coincidence due to the pandemic or the vid, but for the past two years, prices have been increasing for pretty much anything. From homes, home sales have skyrocketed from, uh, you know, several years ago. The price of food has gone up. Sometimes you're paying twice as much as you used to pay for food. And not only that, another thing that's gone up, gas prices have gone up, in, you know, tremendously as well as the price of used cars and new cars as well due to chip shortages and so on. So with that being said, you're probably wondering, how does this tie in with the Land Cruiser? You know, how food prices, inflation and everything, how does that work with the Land Cruiser 80 series? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys how. Cause I painstakingly went through Bringer Trailer's website and I jotted down literally all the bids and sales right here on this piece of paper every single one for every year starting at 2016 all the way till 2022 february 5th so this is current as of february 5th 2022 so if you see any other sales pop up after that it's not going to be on here but i really have everything from 2016 which only had one unfortunately all the way to 2022 and i'm gonna show you guys what I found because you know numbers don't lie and I mean you're gonna see in a minute numbers speak for themselves so I can tell you that the Land Cruiser price has definitely seen an increase just like everything else I'll bring a trailer the sales start in 2016 so we're gonna start off in 2016 where there was only one sale and the price of that was six thousand six hundred dollars now we go to 2017 and you're gonna see the prices are gonna start picking up right now so there was two sales in one bid, and the average price went up to eleven thousand and sixteen dollars. Now going into twenty eighteen, there was also two sales in one bid, and the average price went up to twelve thousand eight hundred and thirty-three dollars. So now for twenty nineteen, there ended up being thirteen sales in three bids, and the average price went up to sixteen thousand nine hundred six dollars. Now going into twenty twenty, this is when it starts to get interesting. There was 29 sales in 5 bids and the average price went up to $26,205. In 2021, this is when it explodes. There was 87 sales, 17 bids, and the average price is now $29,356. Now going into 2022, we can expect more of the same and I expect it to go even higher. So right now, there's 12 sales for going for $34,005. So with that being said, I'm glad I got my Land Cruiser in the spring of 2019 for $3,300. Comment down below if you have a Land Cruiser and how much did you pay for it. Also, the Land Cruiser that's got bid up to $185,000 was this fully restored Land Cruiser 80 series. Inside and out, top to bottom. And it has a LS3 Corvette motor in it, which is pretty impressive. Also, this thing did not meet the reserve, so it only got bid up to, it never got sold. So the owner still has it. And I mean, here you can look on the screen on Bring a Trailer. Some of the other vehicles, Land Rover, Porsche, it is a Dodge Viper with only 10,000 miles and 6,000 mile 2004 Lamborghini. Basically, the Land Cruiser got bid up to like super supercar status. And comment down below: Would you buy this Land Cruiser for hundred-five thousand dollars if you had the chance, or would you buy something else? I know I would. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I also have a video of a hundred thirty-six thousand dollar ninety-four Toyota Land Cruiser with only one thousand miles. So check that out. And again, thank you for watching. Like and comment. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright, the AZ Cruiser out.